You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Mohamed Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on his country's national day. His Majesty wished King Salman abundant health and happiness and the brotherly Saudi people further progress and prosperity under his leadership. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on Saudi Arabia's National Day. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the great role played by Saudi Arabia under the leadership of King Salman in strengthening Arab solidarity, safeguarding legitimate Arab rights, and serving Arab and Islamic issues in line with the principles of Islam. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless King Salman with abundant health and happiness and the brotherly Saudi people with further progress and prosperity under his leadership. He wished the solid bahraini saudi relations for the progress his rohan is also sent a similar cable to the saudi crown prince deputy prime minister and defense minister his royal, his royal highness prince mohammed bin salman bin abdul aziz al saud his Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on Saudi Arabia's National Day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished King Salman abundant health and happiness and the brotherly Saudi people further progress and prosperity under his leadership. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to the Saudi Crown Prince Deputy Prime Minister and Defense Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Hala Al Ansari, has highlighted the importance of exerting more international efforts to ensure that the development plans provide equal opportunities for women and men, which will contribute to the sustainability of economic growth and diversity for the sake of stable and prosperous communities. While delivering the Kingdom's statement during the main session of the second Euro-Asian Women's Forum in St. Petersburg, which was opened by Russian President Vladimir Putin, Al Ansari stressed the need for the world to step up its readiness to face a rapid and huge scientific and technological challenges and to maintain what has been achieved through the development of more measures that would allow women and men equal access to resources and opportunities and ensure that women's contributions remain an important factor in the continuity of their country's growth and their community's stability. Al Ansari underlined the Kingdom's keenness to put forward comprehensive development policies that are consistent with the Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs 2030, as a global roadmap that takes into account women's equal participation being a firm and influential factor in the sustainability of the required changes towards a better future, noting that the institutional efforts to advance women started 15 years ago by implementing a comprehensive national plan that contributed to moving from the stages of traditional empowerment and rights acquisitions to a stage of full rights and equal partnership in development.